each person that's crossed, the creaking is louder than ever. Yeah, Loris <laughs> is particularly concerned about this. He's literally twice the size of everybody else and probably heavier than everyone, and it's creaking. Mm. So Loris has another idea. The That ravine oh. um, from, yeah. say, there to there, is, is that <laughs> accurate? Yeah, that's, that's accurate. <laughs> so... It's a, Goodbye, it's a 15 Mr. Morris. <laughs> Don't jump. Well, either that I risk walking across a bridge with no handhold. You've got a rope. And no, I'm he's, holding he's, the end of the rope. Six <laughs> holding the rope, though. Indeed. If the bridge drops and I drop with it, six coming with. Nah. Just next to the rope in case. <laughs> 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 so I just, I just want to clarify the, the the jumping. So if I, how far can someone jump? It's like eight, like your strength plus something, isn't it? Right? Because well, I've got it's eighteen double, strength. It's like double your strength score. So theoretically, I should be able to jump like thirty six meter with a running. Is it with a running jump? Score? I should be able to, is it, is it, is it double strength? That's what I can't remember. Because um, if I can leap that ravine, I think it has your strength score. I'm pretty sure whatever the measurement is, it's just that same distance. Because <laughs> <laughs> my strength is 18, so I th- if it's if it's 18, then, I, then that ravine is, f- is like 15. I should, by rights, be able to clear that by three foot. There's no way you can leap 15 feet, surely. So it's like the... I, 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 don't know. I, I just want to know what the rules are. Really? I don't understand, I don't yeah. understand what the rules are. Yeah. I'm sure, oh, I'm pretty sure... When I'm you make a long way. jump, you can cover a number of feet up to your strength score if you move at least 10 feet All right. on foot. Immediately okay. before the jump. So, you so with a running feet. jump. Yeah. Yeah. You can so move is it up 10 to score? your strength uh, your, Yeah, your strength score. So what's your strength score? 18. So you can leap 18 feet after running 10 feet. Yeah. That's yeah. A, that's a big ass jump. That doesn't sound oh, right. Does All right. Come on. I've got long legs. He's a strong just, yeah, yeah. just come across the bridge, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to say just the way that you're going to break this. Sounds, yeah, come on. Yeah. I'm just like, now. come on. I'll grab you with my thorn whip if you fall. It'll be fine. <laughs> Loris flashes to moments of many things being shredded by that thorn whip. <laughs> just, I don't fine. Have to be grabbed by that. I've, I've seen you decapitate <laughs> someone with that. I don't want anything to do with it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm just going to jump across. I'm going to let. I, I just don't trust this bridge to be even remotely safe. Mm. To you know, to take my weight, given that it's creaked on people that are less than my weight, and mm. and Sig had to jump across it. Um, so finding the narrowest point, which I think by the looks of things is is there. <laughs> Bill's got his hand up. <laughs> He's Bill. I'm just going to help. Bill. You're going to help. <laughs> You're, You're going to what? I'm going to hold the, on I'm, the rope. I'm taking the rope with me. So I'm holding onto the rope with me. So just in case I do fall, I've got a last resort. But Yeah, I'm not talking about your end. I'm talking about the no, end. I've got my end. You can, you can hold Sig and Although there is a big pillar. Yeah, give him a hug, hold onto the rope. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there is a big pillar between where Sig currently is. You basically turn this rope is going. Oh, no, Sig's. Well, now see, now. <laughs> Oh, How long is this rope? rope. It'll be fifty meters. Well. <laughs> <laughs> like so, like the rope Most is effectively. Yeah, I know, but you're basically feet, wrapping this rope around. It's going like, oh no, that's a square. How do I <laughs> freehand? Uh, it's basically going like this at the moment. That is a great rope. Um, oh wow! That's so. Fine. It'll be coming across that way in a second. <laughs> no, it won't be, because it'll be, like, wrapped around, and how are you going to, like, you're just going to have to leave the rope there, because you're not going to be able to... It's still uh, like 20 metres, or 20 feet. If the rope's 50 feet, I've got I've got plenty of, plenty of rope. Yeah. Okay. Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> I, I jump, jump, I, jump. I, I tend to take a running jump from there, and oh, flip. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll do a nice little tuck and roll when I land. Yeah, absolutely. Oh. Roll. Tuck For anybody who's new to D&D watching this, D&D is mostly about how long is the rope <laughs> and, and you can use it in this situation. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm jumping from here to here, which by my measurement, if I'm accurate, is about 11 foot. Okay. So mm-hmm. theoretically, I should land with like five feet to spare, even if I miss it, let the launching take off by a foot. Okay. Now, what I want to know, what I need to know oh, here... God. How tight, yeah. is, like, how taut is that rope? Is there just, like, 50 foot of this rope oh, d- God, dipping into this chasm? Politics. Is it just, like, this, 
<laughs> rope just dipping down into this chasm. Or did, Sig, did you let out enough for just to get across the bridge so it could be taut? Well, and you've got like a, a whole bunch of rope behind you. What's, what is the rope situation? I, the way I imagined it is it, it was tied, tied around Sig. He went across, so it was tight. So he had the shorter end. So, Loris so you've had got, the longer end. So you've got like so I have 30 all the foot of rope so hanging will, behind you right now? Well, I've dragging it and I've left it sit on the floor and I've kind of just taken a running jump, held it onto it. and Okay, wait, so, all right. So you're leaping. <laughs> you're leaving the rope's end just on the floor behind you. But yeah. you've got one part in your hand. and you're So Holy. that part is tight. Between well, you and it's, Sig. It's, it's pulling whatever. No, well, it was, but there's a gap. Yeah. And so you're just going to. Okay, cool. Feel free to jump. Jump. I just, just want to. Like, tell tell me to roll whatever you want me to roll. I, I'm want. jumped across this ravine. As you... Sig has something to add? Yeah. Sig, don't get yeah, so Just before Mr. Loris jumps, he sees this plan coming together in Loris' <laughs> no. mind. And he's just going to lie down with his feet up on a rock. Just, just ready to, yeah. to pull. Yeah, so um, I'm just going to get a, a D20 from you, Dave. This is like sure, a luck. Right down behind Sig and put his arms under his shoulders. Uh, so just one D20 you want rolled, right? Just a Here one D20. Here it comes. Yeah, so you land. Seven. Your feet, um, you, you, the jump seems easy. You're in the in the air, you're, you're jumping across. Your, your feet hit the other side, um, but the rope is now going back over your shoulder. It's caught around this pillar between you and Sig. <laughs> and you just are uh, just jolted back and you fall down into this ravine. And this rope <laughs> grates you across the rock wall and swings you out underneath this big bridge. And this, this, this weight of the rope against the bridge with you pulling against it just cr- breaks this bridge in half, just snaps this bridge in half and it falls down. But you are now hanging. Well, I still Sig. feel that justifies my decision to jump. <laughs> <laughs> let's not just let's not play the justification <laughs> game. <laughs> is that what you say as you're falling? This, oh, this, was, was right. this is what he wanted the whole time. Yeah, yeah. it I'm was so- a good job. <laughs> <laughs> it was just my decision. Yeah. I could have made it. <laughs> 